Ladies and gentlemen, this is a game that I used to play when I was wee little. A game by Activision, Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space. <laughs> Now, for those that don't know the story, Activision is pretty much one of the one of the very first third-party developers, and for a good long while, they were king. They had a lot of great games for the for the Atari 2600 as well as the Commodore. Not so sure about the NES. Mostly for the NES, they kind of licensed out the third parties. Mostly just development houses that didn't know what the hell what the hell they were doing with their properties. Super Pitfall and Ghostbusters comes to mind. Yeah, that does. Now, for those that don't see it in the bottom right-hand corner, there is, in fact, a little tape counter going going up and up and up and up, currently at 78 seconds. Yeah, I understand they wanted to, to uh, emulate, fully emulate the, 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 the feel of a Commodore 64, but did they have to incorporate the load times, too? Proceeding to warp factor eight. The only benefit to uh, the the whole simulated uh, uh, loading times of the the Commodore is the fact that there is a keyboard shortcut that lets you, that lets you speed up the loading times. And this is it, folks. This is Space Shuttle.
Blasting off into space. Yes, space. Yes, we have officially rendezvoused with the space station. And when I was little, I thought that I had ascended to a, uh, a space track. Like a, like a space road of some sort. Somehow I knew that that was the, that going to that thing was the goal. I just didn't understand why. You had an idea about the how part though, right? It took some time to figure it out. I would assume that this is the burning up, burning into uh, Earth's atmosphere. This flashing sensation. Frankenstein is probably hit right on the nose. Kerbal Space Program, circa 1983. Go Jeb.
And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was never quite sure if I had succeeded in the game, but... But, uh... Yeah, I could only assume that that was the landing strip, and that I am now firmly on the ground. Probably. Probably. So, folks, that was Space Shuttle, A Journey into Space for the Commodore 64.